everyone, this is Rafaipon. You may recognize me for the iPod Touch hack tutorials and all that stuff, but today here I am in beautiful Mexico City. And today I'm also introducing a new show called that will teach you about filmmaking. Not pro filmmaking, DIY filmmaking. That's what's all about. Well, on the, the what's DIY filmmaking? It's making great looking films on silly budget. And I will show you how to make your equipment, filmmaking tips, and all that stuff. And also where you can buy cheap filmmaking equipment. Today, for example, I'm going to show you how to make a bumpo for really cheap. Well, you may ask, what the heck is a bumpo? Well, a bumpo. It's a really large pole that you can attach, attach a microphone on it and, it and you will pick up sound from actors talking well, from a really long distance. Here are some video clips and examples. But the bad thing is that boom poles are really, really expensive. This freaking pole right here, it's $150 in Amazon. I will not pay that for a poll, so I was thinking, hey, let's make one for really cheap on the first episode of this show. Well, I'm gonna show you the shopping list before we get started, but here we need first some tools. A rotary tool and make sure your rotary tool has a really, really nice cutting wheel We're cutting through metal. And also we will need a file. First of all, we will need a telescoping painter's bowl, any size doesn't matter. A dollar store paint roller handle. This threaded adapter. And plumber's epoxy. Okay, after you got all your supplies, let's start building. Okay. A note on the rotary tool. This thing is really powerful. I recommend you using safety glasses and gloves because you're cutting metal. And also, if you can, what are these? Yeah. And also, you will need a good cutting wheel to cut this, the paint ruler. I already cut it. You will need a good tool for cutting this steel. So, get a, get a cutting wheel, especially what I use is called a fiber disc that could cut to stainless steel or any cutting wheel that can cut through stainless steel. Okay, let's get started. First of all, using your rotary tool, you will need to cut your um, paint roller handle. Do this slowly and carefully. Sparks may flow out, don't scare, and be really careful. Okay, now is the part to attach the adapter. Well, if you want a uh, specified adapter, you can go into this website right here, or or you can do it like me. I got my, with the pistol grip that came with my microphone. The one do you or do you attach it? Um, here it has already threaded a hole for the boom pole. So I went to my hardware store and I found this adapter. As you can see, it's hollowed out on the inside and you can see fits perfectly so I thought this could be the right adapter and go with your shock mount that or your pistol grip that came with your microphone watch the hole and watch for the sizes I I don't remember a lot of these but uh, I maybe maybe it's a 5 8 so check that okay after you finish cutting that um, file the edges a little bit and then add lots of plumber's epoxy to make sure it's really tight. Um, let the plumber's epoxy dry and boom pole done. Well, that pretty wraps up our wraps up our episode about making boom poles. As you see, here is our painter's pole and our adapter. And voila, there you go. A nice boom pole that you can use for any purpose of filming. Now, thank you for watching. Please rate, so, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. If you want to, if you want me to make more videos, please subscribe. There's a button 
maybe right here or right there, I don't know, that says su subscribe, click it. And also, you want a special effect and equipment, put it in the comments down here. And I will see you in two weeks.